My name is Chidi Chidong. I'm a media entrepreneur. Well, this book is a statement of intent and a statement of reflection for young people, and especially people who want to read your book. And it's basically so that over since the independence of this people that tried to change the world, our generation is now very passionate about history and trying to change the country. How do we ensure that we actually make a difference? And the same things you're complaining about now will not complain about the intent of the That is why I think that to ask us to make a what has consistently escaped most Nigerians in this travesty is the fact that mediocrity destroys the very fabric of a country as surely as a war, ushering in all sorts of banality, ineptitude, corruption, and debauchery. Please listen to that statement again. Form those pictures in your mind. Move beyond symptoms of what your eyes can see and trace most of our country's issues to their roots as far as your mind can take you. Achege is totally right. Corruption in Nigeria has passed the alarming and entered the fatal stage. And Nigeria will die if we keep pretending she is only slightly indisposed, he said in the trouble with Nigeria. I have stated elsewhere that this mindless, mindless carnage will only end with the dismantling of the present corrupt political system and the banishment of the cult of mediocrity that once he said if there was a country. The idea that someone should go from could go from state house to Kirikiri maximum security prison is extremely important. And it's an idea that ought to live in the consciousness of our people, whether they are going to be leaders or going to be the led. I believe today's uh, book has been very insightful from what uh, one has uh, picked. Um, is spot on on the problems of our country, on the challenges that we face, and um, quite a bit of what the, you know, it, it's, it's food for thought uh, for the turning point generation, as he says. And uh, it's nice that he's asking if, you know, it is the turning point generation. In other words, it's for those in this generation, on the generation he's addressing, to ask themselves, are they really ready? Uh, I say the change generation, in other words, are they ready uh, to change things for the better? And uh, that's, so it's food for thought, and I think it's um, very appropriate um, at this point uh, in development of our country. Consult the Nigerian God when you don't feel like working. The Nigerian God understands that we live in a harsh climate where it is hard to do any new work. So if you have no clue how to be in charge and things start collapsing, ask people to pray for God to have his intervention. The Nigerian God loves elections and politics. When you advise people to get the party nomination, use thugs to steal and stuff ballot boxes, intimidated people into either sitting at home or voting for you, lied about everything from your assets to your age, and eventually, by the grace of God, win the elections. You must begin by declaring that your success is the wish of God and that the other candidates should accept this as the will of the Almighty. It is not your fault whom the Nigerian God chooses to reward with political success. How can mere mortals even complain? The Nigerian God does not tolerate disrespect. If someone insults your religion, you must look for them and you must kill them. It doesn't matter what you use, sticks, machetes, grenade launchers, IEDs, AK-47. If you worship the Nigerian God, you are under no obligation to be nice or kind to people who are not worshippers. They deserve no cuts. Now guys, you know E 